Hey guys, it's Kayla, and as promised, I am here for you with my 2015 random favorites. Um, this is mostly a talking video. I don't have a lot of like physical stuff to show you guys, um, but um, I'll start with the physical stuff. Um, but most of this is stuff that I loved doing, that I um, just generally loved, and then big events in my life throughout the year of 2015. Um, this is just kind of the random, like, how was Kayla's year? But also my favorites. Um, 2015 was a big year, so um, yeah, I'm gonna show you. Um, actually, I'm gonna go through first and tell you some of like the big things that happened in 2015. So 2015, the year started. I had an officer position in my sorority, which was really awesome. Um, and so I started off with that, and we had recruitment, and we recruited a bunch of awesome new girls, and I got a little who's perfect and amazing in every way, and I love her so much. Um, and yeah, it was just a good um, beginning of the year. I worked on a play for someone's thesis that I absolutely loved working on, um, so that was really fun. And then I worked my first full-time job over the summer, which was insane. I got my first tattoos, um, so that was cool. Um, then we came back to school, and um, I started to direct my first um, scene, which was amazing. I dove into some different areas of theater that I had never done before, which was really cool. Um, I became president of my sorority for a short amount of time, which was a really awesome opportunity. Um, and then I turned 21, which was pretty great. And I got cast in my first main stage show at my school, which is going to be happening in um, February and March. I got cast in Rent, which is so exciting. Um, I love that so much. That's been great. Um, my first directing, my directing debut happened um, and went really well, so that was awesome. And yeah, it was just a good year. I hit 350 subscribers um, was like my, I think I'm at 355 as of today. So I think I'm going to say 350 is a safe way to say I ended 2015. I don't know exactly. Um, so that was really cool. Um, and I uploaded a lot more. I know I kind of dropped off Face the Earth in October, um, but I'm back, which is awesome. So yeah, it was a really good year. A lot of crazy fun things happened. Um, and then I've got a ton of my favorite things right here. So, um, first thing is um, my plum paper planner. I got really into planners this year. Um, I've always loved planners and I've always color coded everything. I've been one of those like creepy organized people um, with like planner stuff, but I got into like planner decorating and having like a really nice planner. Um, so if you go check out my um, Plum Paper Planner 2015 review, you get to see every single spread I did in this. Um, and you guys know every Wednesday from now on you see a plan with me um, because I just really got into it and I really loved it. And there's a great community of women on YouTube um, who make planner videos. And actually a lot of my friends um, who I met on YouTube because of like beauty stuff, now we all make planner videos. So that's pretty funny. Um, I think... There was six people total that ever were part of the Fab Four, and half of us do planner stuff. Two of them own Etsy shops, um, but all of like the three of us make planner videos, which is really funny. Um, I buy a lot from their shops. Most of my spreads are stuff from Andrea and Vanessa's shops. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of a cool thing I got into this year, um, and I've loved that. Another thing that um, I think everyone got into this year was like art as therapy. So like coloring books for grown-ups. I love these things. That's great. Um, there's a place in the town I go to school um, called, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Why can't I remember what it's called? Anyway, it's like a place where you go and like drink wine and paint paintings and like my mom goes all the time and I've been twice this year and I painted this penguin. Um, but it's just kind of fun, like art to relax and grown-ups can do fun things and color too. So that's that. Um, then I have my TV, music, movie, and YouTube favorites all written on this list. Um, da, da, da. My TV favorites for this year, um, don't they're not going to surprise you. They're not. They're really not going to surprise you. We have Pretty Little Liars, The Royals, Rain, Vampire Diaries, and The Originals. Um, I binge watch stuff all the time, and so, like, catching up on these shows is always really fun for me. Um, PLL comes back, like, in a couple days, so that's really great. It comes back tomorrow when you're watching this, so that's cool. Um, music, I had, um, like, I had a lot of favorite songs this year. I have two 
things on this list that are like songs that I just look like they popped into my head when I was thinking of favorite things and the rest of these are artists or albums. Um, so yeah, so the two songs, which are by no means my favorite songs of the year, they're just the things that like popped into my head when I was thinking, what are songs that I really loved in 2015? Like my favorite songs of the year are probably on the albums that are listed. Um, but these two songs just kind of like, I didn't want to put the whole album, but these songs like, yeah, I liked. So there's Justin Bieber, What Do You Mean? It's a good song. It gets stuck in my head really easily and I dance around to it a lot. And then um, Grown by Little Mix, which isn't a single, like no one's heard it. It's on the album. It's amazing. I love it. I like dance around in my car, do it all the time, which is so dangerous, but whatever. And then um, I listened to a lot of Halsey, Toblo, and Demi Lovato this year. No surprise on the Demi Lovato front. Um, so yeah, that's some of my favorite stuff. And then uh, One Direction, Made in the AM, is such a baller album. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I don't know what my favorite song is. I really like Infinity, and I really like Never Enough, um, and What a Feeling. I just like it all. Um, I'm really mad about the whole history and Infinity switch for the single. I'm just bitter about it. It's fine. I think Infinity is a far superior song musically and would have made them way more money, but the fans were like, no, history, history, and I'm like, why? It's not musically a better song. It's not. Like, musically, Infinity is the far better song. Anyway, um, movies of the year. I have four movies that I saw in theaters this year that I thought were just awesome movies and I would watch over and over again. Um, so Age of Adeline. I just love Blake Lively. She's beautiful and perfect. Um, Trainwreck. Again, Amy Schumer. She's a babe. I love her. Uh, Mockingjay Part 2. Jennifer Lawrence. Also a babe. Here, here's one that doesn't have a strong leading woman that I'm in love with yet. I'm falling in love with her. Um, Star Wars, episode seven. Um, I love it, it's great. I do like Daisy Ridley a lot. She hasn't reached like heroin, I love you level in my head yet, but she might get there, I don't know. I, we'll see. Um, so yeah, those are the four movies of the years I really liked. And then YouTube, again, you're not gonna be really surprised by these. Um, so I really love watching Plan With Me videos, so I've subscribed to a lot of people who make planner videos. Um, I can't like list a ton of them right now, but I just, I love planner videos. If I see someone who makes planner videos, I'm like, subscribe, because I just like to sit and watch plan with me. It's because I like to plan. Um, and then Sakoni Jolies, always. I love them so much. They're so adorable and great. Um, and then Shan XO, again, no surprise. Jacqueline Hill, no surprise. And Kathleen Lights, no surprise. Um, they're just all wonderful, beautiful. Kathleen, I only started watching this year, actually. So she was like a great new YouTuber. Not, she's not a new YouTuber, but like to me, she was new. So that was really cool um, to start watching someone that I didn't watch before and actually really liked her. Um, yeah, so then my other favorite that I brought to show you was my rose gold iPhone 6S Plus. It's my baby. I'm obsessed with it. It just became unplugged. Um, I got this for my 21st birthday from my dad. I have a little sparkle glitter case on it. I love it so much. If you guys want to see a what's on my iPhone video, give this video a thumbs up. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but yeah, 2015 was a really great year. I'm really excited to see what 2016 brings. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a great 2016, and I'm looking forward to spending this year with you guys. So I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!